Hey, what's up? Are you here? So I want to talk about refinancing, what that means, and three reasons why you may want to refinance if you have a mortgage. So what refinancing is, is pretty much renegotiating a new mortgage um, and renegotiating interest rates, terms, um, and the price of the loan, you could say. So three reasons why people do it. Um, there's regular refinancing, and then there's cash out refinancing, cash out refis. So regular refinancing, why people may do it is to probably save interest, right? So let's say when you bought your house, you had a 4.5% interest rate. Now they are pretty low. Um, it's summer of 2019. And let's say you're seeing mortgage rates that are 4% interest rate, right? Or 3.875. And you want to save money over the life of your loan. So what you do, well, you can refinance with a bank, whoever you want to apply to, and they refinance your mortgage so you get a new mortgage with your new interest rate. Therefore, you're saving money over the life of your loan, okay? That's one reason or major reason why some people do a traditional refinancing. Another way or reason that people do traditional refis is, let's say you got your home or investment property on an FHA loan. FHA loans, you pay um, private mortgage insurance and you can't get out of it with FHA loans, no matter how much of the balance you pay off. Or if you have a conventional loan and you put less than 10% down, you're paying private mortgage insurance, right? So to get rid of that, you can um, refinance to a conventional loan, but you have to have at least 20% of your value of your property um, paid off in order to do it. So refinancing out of that into a conventional loan saves you money because you don't pay that private mortgage insurance every month, which could be a hundred something, 200 something, 300 something dollars. It depends on the, how big your mortgage is. So that's the second reason why people do a traditional refinance. Okay. Cash out refi, which is what I'm doing personally, is for people that want to use the equity in their home and take it out as cash and use it toward home improvements, paying off their debt, getting a new car, whatever you want, vacation, it doesn't matter, but the cash is yours. So um, the reason why I'm doing it is one of my good friends and a loan officer, uh, Michelle, she reached out to me and she said, hey, you know, the value of your property has gone up quite a bit. And she sent me a screenshot and I was like, has it? I've only had the home three years. It's been, it's, it's increased in value that much. I was like, let's talk refi, cash out refi. So a cash out refi is exactly that. Your home has appreciated in value and now there's equity in your home, right? Cause now it's worth a lot more. Some people just wait it out and just sell it for more later on down the line. But some people have debt or they need cash now for some reason for whatever they want. So they take that equity out of their home as cash and use it for whatever they need. Right. But a lot of people do it to pay down their debt or for home improvements. OK, so a cash out refi, um, what they do is you go to your loan officer, say you want to do a cash out refi. They run the numbers and say, hey, this is an estimated amount of the cash you'll get back. These are the loan terms. It's a 30 year at a 3.8% interest rate or whatever like that, right? So you do that. Um, refinances take maybe three weeks, three to four weeks. They don't take that long. They take less than getting a regular loan <laughs> homeowner stuck. Um, and the cash out refi is really nice. Um, but some people are hesitant to do it because when you get an appraiser, they appraise your home. Let's say now it's worth 50 grand more than it was before, right? Your new loan is going to be for your house value when you bought it plus 50 grand, your appraised value. So you're paying more for your home now that it's worth more, but you're taking out the difference, the equity in cash. So some people might say, okay, so now you're paying more over the life of your loan. Yes, but depending on what you use that money for, home improvements, paying off debt, it can be beneficial for you. So it depends. Me personally, I'm house hacking. So I have tenants in my downstairs apartment. 
that pay for my mortgage. So it's free money. I don't care. <laughs> so anyways, um, I hope that helps you understand refinancing. And I hope that you find an option that is right for you. And with that being said, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know.